Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for past love, someone that you have history with. I will post a new love reading, so make sure notifications are turned on so you don't miss it. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. <clears throat> okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So Spirit, how does this past person feel about Aries? Okay, we have the King of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles. Right away, Aries, I'm getting this energy where this person cares, cared, cares a lot about you, but worried that you did not feel the same. Um, they could feel like you left them in the cold. They left, you left them behind. Okay, king of wands. Why the two kings? Why the two kings? Oof, the lovers. There could have been a choice here between this person and another person. Maybe they felt like you chose differently. Um, if that's not the case and you feel like they, I mean, the roles can be reversed here. It feels like this... This person feels like you chose something over them, whether it's another person or yourself, um, your confidence, whatever it is, they feel left behind by you. And deep down, this person really cares about you. But the problem with the King of Cups is, is that this is someone who's like a master of their emotions. They know how to hide things. They, they never shows on their face. Um, so even though this person cares very deeply for you, they don't know if like they wouldn't always show it. Um, I, I feel like what I wanted to say there too is this person didn't know if you ever felt the same way about them, Aries. So they could have kept their emotions to themselves, right? They could have seen you as someone who is very um, well-liked, very sociable, very attractive, got a lot of attention from people, just confident in who you were. Um, not necessarily like looking for attention, but you would just sort of naturally get it. This person could have just felt like you, you chose them yourself over them or you chose someone else. Um, that was maybe more flashy or something like that over them. Either way, this person feels left behind by you. And that's not to make you feel bad in any way. It's just sort of to tap into like what's going on with this person. Um, but they don't tell you this. We have the lover's card here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. They just, they feel this very strong bond towards you here. But this clarifying these two kings, this person, again, they just felt like you chose something or someone else over them. And as a result, they're left in the cold here. Um, now, maybe you were pushed to make this decision. Maybe you felt like you had no choice. Maybe you felt like you gave this person a bunch of chances, right? Everyone's story is going to be different. But either way, this person's sitting there like they care a lot. Tell me about the King of Cups, but they don't always say it. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. The High Priestess. You know, I feel like this person deep down is like, I would have done anything. I would have done anything for Aries. I would have shown them I would have taken the shirt off my back for Aries like and maybe you really didn't know this Aries maybe you were like I had no idea this person felt so deeply they never said it they never showed it um and so you moved on or again you chose yourself right you chose to embrace your confidence and move along in some way but it could be a Pisces here why the five of pentacles Oof, the king of pentacles there's a lot of masculine energy here Again, this person could have felt like you chose a job over them, that you chose someone else that was just more, like had more to offer here. Um, we have temperance. It's interesting because this person also could have seen you move from a space of like, maybe you were like a student or not really in your career that you wanted to be or something like that, financially not in the place that you wanted to be and now you are. I feel like they've seen your evolution, whoever this person is. There's a sense of like, like, 
um, they're proud of you, but at the same time, they feel like that's kind of what left them behind. Like you went ahead, you bettered yourself in a lot of different ways here. You had accomplished goals, you made career moves or whatever it was, and this person feels like they just got left behind. Now, again, I don't feel like you intentionally were like, I'm gonna leave you behind here. It almost feels like it's a combination of you going after your goals and doing what you need to do, but also not knowing how this person felt. Like it almost feels like if you knew how deeply they actually cared or what they, how they actually, you know, wanted you around and didn't want this to, to be, I, I can't even get my words out properly, Aries. Like I feel like this person struggles to like form even like proper sentences with you. Like they have a hard time expressing themselves, right? All the Kings are here except for the King of Swords. Like I feel like this person has a lot they want to say and has a lot that they feel but they don't say it there's just a lot of masculine energy here this person could have felt like you chose like friends over them and masculine doesn't have to mean male right um you could have just chose people around you that were also go-getters action takers in some way this person just felt like they didn't have a lot to offer but in the end but deep down they're also like i would have done anything for aries but i don't think you knew this or maybe you did and they just didn't do it they didn't take that action Hmm. So we have Sagittarius, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces energy so far. Um, if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. What is this person's actions towards Aries in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less, could be a little more. Wow, we got the Four of Wands. Wow, we have the Queen of Cups. So this person's moving from the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups energy, opening up, telling you how they feel. Oh, why the Two of Pentacles though? They're, they're unsure whether or not to make this offer towards you. Why? Why the two of pentacles? It might feel too quick. They might feel like if they move it too quickly, it, will, it won't, it'll too much too soon. Instead of too little too late, it's like too much too soon and it might scare you off in some way or it might deter you. Like I feel like this person is either person to say nothing or they say so much that you're like, whoa, where did this come from? Right? I feel like there is this desire for this person to say something to you. Like I feel like they're going to. They could even tell you, like, look, I've been back and forth about what to say to you. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Three of Cups. Three of Wands. Three, three. Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to work on it. They feel like now's the time. Like that there's it might even be at an event or something that they see you at. I feel like they also want to tell you how they feel about that other energy around you. I don't know what that is, whether it's work or friends or family or another like love interest. I do love reading, so this could obviously be romantic. This could be a friend. This could be family. So take it as it resonates. Um, energy is fluid. It could be picking up on more than one person here. This person does want to open up to you. I feel like they do. They go back and forth a little bit about how to do that exactly. They're almost like waiting for this this get together or this time that they'll see you or something like that and they want to let you know like the time is now like they want to work on this they want to make a new offer here they want to see where this can go and they're ready to take it to the next step tell me about the queen of cups four of wands um so they're offering their cup of love here yeah oof two of cups they're offering their cup of love here so if this is someone you were like i wish they would just open up i wish they would have that heart to heart with me they would just tell me how they feel i see them doing it here Aries like this must have been frustrating for you you might have been like hey I have no choice but to work on myself or like put my energy into people who actually reciprocate it back and I feel like this person just been sitting there thinking like wow I feel abandoned by Aries I feel left behind by them I need to step up my game here <clears throat> but they've been sort of contemplating on what that looks like and how to do it I feel like the time is now in this next little bit I see this person messaging you a lot I feel like them wanting a new start I feel like they want I mean, this is my soulmate card. You got the lovers and the two of cups. So this is someone who feels very, very strongly about you. I believe we have multiple soulmates. I believe these are just these people that we just can't explain this like bond that we share with them. Um, it, it doesn't feel, it feels like otherworldly. It's because your souls already know each other, right? So your souls agreed to meet each other on earth. You're here to help each other grow, evolve, learn something, Right, and this person knew this before. I feel with the lovers there, like they knew there was this life changing connection, you in front of them, Aries, but it didn't go the way that they thought. It left them feeling 
behind. So now they're coming forward. So expect this conversation. Anything else about that Two of Cups? Expect them to open up here with that Queen of Cups energy. Um, for them to say how they feel. The Hanged Man, Pisces energy, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. So there is definitely messages coming here. Why the Seven of Cups? They could even tell you, like, I was confused. I didn't know what I wanted. Um, I felt stuck in some way. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands. Yeah, they basically, they just don't know how to go about this. I see the devil at the bottom. There's just some, there's like overthinking everything with the Nine of Swords behind that. Um, th this person doesn't know if should they be like, hey, we're just like, you know, I want to be friends with you. Should they ask for more? Should they like flirt a little bit? If this is romantic, should they... There, there's definitely a new beginning coming here, but this person kind of is like, oh, like, how, like, how do I do it? How do I go about this? What do I tell Aries that I want from them? Because they don't know what you want from them. But I do see this person opening up more than what they have been. That's for sure. So you got the pages, you got the aces, ace, eight of wands. There's definitely messages coming here. Um, maybe you can already feel it. Maybe you can feel like, this person's coming towards you. Their energy is pulling on yours in some some way here, um, Aries. But yeah, they want to they wanna open up more so than they have in the past. That's for sure. They just don't know like how to go about this. Do I just say like, hey, like let's start over. Let's start fresh. Or should we take it to that next level? If this is something romantic, right? Like they don't, they don't really know. I see, I see them messaging, but you might be a little bit confused exa like, but it, by exactly what they want from you, but I do see them reaching out. But what's their intentions with Aries? Like, what do they really want? We got the Eight of Cups. We got the world. We got the devil, Capricorn energy. Page of Cups, all these pages. This person could be younger than you. They don't have to be. And the Ten of Cups. I had a feeling that was gonna come out. I feel like this is this person trying to put an end to them tapping into their fears and, and like operating from fear. I feel like this is this person being like no more being emotionally distant, no more, you know, um, not saying how I feel, no more being scared, no more um, of my shadow side or my ego side, like taking over i feel like this person just wants to apologize i feel like they want to reach out i feel like they want to have their happily ever after here with you it feels like they're really trying to not because the devil's very tempting right it's tempting to like just do things how you've always done them or just walk away or just be like forget it you know like it's easier in the moment but i feel like in the long run this person would not be happy with themselves if they did that even if that's what they've been doing um Excuse me, sorry Aries. If you know me, I always try to edit those things out, but I don't. So you'll just have to deal with my sneeze. I apologize. <laughs> um, I feel like they're trying to put an end to that though. I do. I feel like their intention here is to not, well, tell me more about the devil. Um, it's just this like this fear that they have. Six of Wands, yeah, their pride, their ego here. Could have been like their way of operating of like, oh, I don't care. Like if Aries doesn't call me back, I'm not gonna call them back. Like I'm not gonna put myself out there. I feel like they really want to put that to an end. And what they want is to just apologize and to have good times with you, feel emotionally fulfilled with you, have this 10 of cups, this, this friendship, this connection, this whatever it is, and just have their happiness with you. Cause they feel like it's, if it's not with you, then who's it with, um, Aries. So their intentions look good, right? Their it, actions are a little bit messy. Like it's almost like they don't know what they're doing. They, like I said, they might be younger than you, or they might be less experienced in like saying these things right they have a hard time expressing themselves but they are trying it looks like um but what's the potential outcome ten of wands <clears throat> the star aquarius energy the knight of pentacles and the nine of wands i mean this person is really hopeful right and maybe you are too hopeful that this can um work out there are obstacles to overcome here there's no doubt about that with the nine and ten of wands perhaps you're guarded this person could be guarded it's going to take some time to build that trust but i feel like this person is not going anywhere i don't feel them being manipulative i don't feel them trying to trick you in some way i feel like it's just going to take time this is someone who like it takes time to earn their trust you might feel the same way right but there is hope here tell me about the star there is hope for this to work out um, seven of wands, page of wands, 
four of pentacles you know what i feel like this is i feel like this is you two like protecting this connection too i don't know if it's you or them or both of you not really telling people what you're doing not really telling people how it's going especially if there's a long-standing history with this person not really letting anyone else know what's what's going on yeah maybe you two are like having little conversations here and there but you don't need to go and tell tell anyone you're like let's just see how this goes Right? We both know that there's something here. There's some strong connection here. Let's take our time, get to know each other and see what happens. Right? We're both, you're, I feel like you're both kind of overcoming some fears here of like, you know, this is the wounded warrior. This is someone who's been through some things. You're like, I'm not going to let that happen to me again. I'm not going to get hurt. I'm not going to be a fool. Right? But I see the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. Like I do feel like there is potential here to have something long standing and like strong um but it's like starting from the bottom right it's start it is literally starting fresh and i don't feel like there's a need or at least it doesn't seem like on once at least one of you to tell everyone what's going on here um how will you know or how will aries know who this is how will aries know the sun wanted to come out we'll see if it does how will aries know the tower could be a scorpio someone who kind of like came out of nowhere Five of Swords, someone who self-sabotages, someone who doesn't think they're good enough in some way. Um, I was kind of picking that up before. Page of Swords could be like spying on you, right? Someone who's been trying to like figure out what you're up to. The Strength card could be a Leo. Someone who came out of nowhere. And the Empress. I mean, I feel like this person is really caring. I do feel like um, they have this sort of instinct about them to take care to fix things they like they want to make it right but they just don't know how to express themselves is what i'm getting like i don't get like sometimes readings come through and i get like ill intent or like maliciousness i get energies that feel very manipulative or like controlling i don't get that from this person i just get this is someone who um cares a lot wants to wants to take care of you of this connection but doesn't know how to say it doesn't feel good enough self-sabotages right things could have ended even abruptly yeah overthinks right could think that they're not good enough because they don't have the same things maybe the king of pentacles or the king of wands has to offer right this could be someone who's like i have a big heart and i have a lot of love to give but like i don't have a big house or like i don't have the looks or i don't have the attention or the you know following or whatever it is right but i do feel like this is someone who cares a lot <clears throat> any advice for aries the high priestess use your intuition and the six of cups i mean you know how you felt with this person you know the history that the two of you have only you understand this connection you and this other person are the only two people in this world that get it right no matter how many times you've explained it to other people or whatever's come up or it doesn't matter you two are the only two in this if you're feeling nostalgic too and you're sort of missing this person or hoping that the two of you can connect again i mean it doesn't have to be like best friends right away or back in a relationship right away or whatever it is you can take your time and it looks like that's what the two of you are doing but there is healing here there is hope here despite what has happened so um Maybe even reminding yourself of the good times because sometimes it can be hard to think of the good times when bad things are happening right in front of your face, right? Um, but use your intuition, right? Use your discernment. You you know what, like, you'll feel it. You'll feel it. <clears throat> we got a handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Okay. Perhaps that's speaking to, like, one of those kings there, someone that you'll meet. I don't know. Lion, time to act. And ear, good news. So you've got some good news coming to you, especially if you were hoping to hear from this person. Um, tree, affairs with your family. So there could be something with family here. I see use your intuition at the bottom with the unicorn to make beneficial changes. Let's see if there's anything from this pile for you, Aries. For Aries, please, Spirit. Oh. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. That speaks to that like seven of wands energy too, right? Like you just protecting your energy, protecting this connection, this person as well, right? We got Ram, because we got a stubborn, aggressive person. I don't feel like it's whoever this is. Could be someone else in your life. Bag, something important such as a new job or a raise and scissors. Disappointment in some affair. I don't know. This There's someone, 
What is this ram? Who is this stubborn, aggressive person? Who is that? The sun could be a Leo. Something about the summertime. Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. So it could have been, it could be a situation that you have to sort of walk away from or distance yourself from. It feels stressful. The Ten of Wands did come out in the potential outcome. So I feel like it's still lingering. Yeah, we got the Knight of Wands. So someone who could be inconsistent, hot and cold here. Right? I feel like that might be you cutting this out or something like that. Because I don't get that energy from whoever I'm picking up on. Let's see. I am embarrassed by my actions and feel disgusted with myself. So this person feels bad for what they did or didn't do. Because we also got, I am becoming a better person. So they're trying. And that's honestly what I feel too. This person wants to try. They want to do things differently here with you. They understand it's not going to happen overnight. They may have to earn your trust back as well. But I feel like they're willing to do that. They're willing to take the time to show you and build on this. Um, I have many regrets regrets that keep me from moving forward. So I feel like this person's finally trying to like take action here. And you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Whoa. So we just got a bunch of these cards too. I don't know if... Okay, I'll read them. They fell out for a reason. I pushed you away because I do not want the responsibility. So that could have been what they did. Not stepping up to the plate. I want to be more than friends. I feel abandoned by you and it is triggering my childhood traumas. That's exactly what was coming through there. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I lost myself for a little while. And I depend on you too much to let you go. I have codependency issues. So this could be someone who you feel like could be codependent. And just by you focusing more on yourself or your career or something like that, they felt um left behind by you their codependency again with the devil card that could speak to that that's something that they have to work on on their own right but we did get true gem valuable quality jewelry right i feel like this is like a genuine person a genuine connection look new love new person unknown person so this could kind of take you by surprise because we got the tower there right it could be a long friend a long time friend who's like has feelings for you or something like that because we got fair male lighter than darker only take it if it resonates and travel vacation honeymoon enjoyment okay messages for aries please don't stop so whatever you're doing is working here because the situation will improve. So you know what that means, Aries, and what you have to do moving forward um, to help this situation. Because look, you just got failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So maybe you felt like you made some mistakes with this person, with this connection, and there was no coming back. Perhaps this person felt the same way, but they are coming back. They want to start fresh with you right um a mistake is just an opportunity to learn here so let's see breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe so this is all about surrendering letting go right understanding that inspired action is definitely important in the universe but letting the universe take control and surrendering and knowing that things will come to you exactly as they're supposed to is a huge part of manifestation as well um, let me just read the little blurb for that because I feel like there could be something there. <clears throat> so you're supposed to place the card on the portal of your heart. Obviously, I have the card, but you can just place your hand on your heart, um, Aries. And it says, I'm willing to stop relying on my own strength and personal agenda and instead surrender to the breath of life. Dear God, help me move from my will to thy will. Please lead me. Please show me the way. When we rely only on our own will, we're micromanaging the universe and resisting the natural flow of life. We're not trusting the mysterious breath of life. We're rejecting the great cosmic intelligence and relying instead on our personal strength. Um, so again, I'm willing to stop relying on my own strength and personal agenda and instead surrender to the breath of life. Dear God, help me move from my will to thy will. Please lead me. Please show me the way. I love this deck. It's 
Starseed Oracle, if you are interested, Aries. Um, let's see, messages for Aries. Oh, right away. No place like home. Okay, there's one more. Oh, they said that's it. Okay. So no place like home, number 50. There are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory-driven creatures, and we all look for certainty, for what we know, even if the qualities we seek in other people and in external conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar and trust that there you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. Remember, if you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar and you will attract and be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time will not be different unless you do something different. So I think that just speaks to this person's whole energy, but it could be you as well, Aries. Excuse me, thinking like, if you wanna stop this cycle with this person, then we have to do something differently here. They feel like they're doing something different for sure. Um, and no place like home also speaks to like that comfortability that you feel with someone that like, Again, inexplicable bond that you just share, um, sense of, of closeness, right? Um, so yeah, maybe it's both of you doing something different. Maybe it's just this person. Let me know in the comments. But if you still have questions, Aries, make sure you check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. Um, there's also a code there for 10% off. But let's see, these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. Take it as it resonates, but if something here does not resonate, it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading. So we got R, I, B, U, X, K, the number one, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonates with you. If it did, Aries, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.